pineapple fritters have been around since the world began, but we're going to spice them up with a little tropical flavour. Today's hot dessert starts with pineapple rings, which we're going to take and seep in rum. And then we're going to make an awesome tempura batter with self-raising flour, sparkling water, uh, fry them off in the batter so they're nice and golden and crisp and ring-shaped, and then serve it with a dollop of cream and a little bit of honey. So we're going to start with our tin pineapple. Now people might say this is a bit of a cheat, but I think the tin stuff is just as good. So if you can just scoop out a few of these without too much juice and put them yeah. into a bowl. We're going to add to it some coconut rum. So pineapple and coconut we know work so well together, yes. so that's what we're going to put in here. It's like flavours of the Caribbean, isn't it? Tropical indeed. Yeah. There we go. And some brown sugar. So we're going to leave them in there for a little while to absorb all of that rum. Now this is the crispiest, beautifulest batter ever. It's not a word. It is a word. I just said it was. There we go. <laughs> Self-raising flour. And to that we're going to add sparkling water. Now the key to sparkling water. Fizzy. Fizzy, which is good. It makes it a very light batter. But and also water. Ice cold. Ice cold? Ice cold. <laughs> and as I said, fizzy, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to whisk? <laughs> Who shook that up? Was that one of the camera crew? Yes. You need to whisk as I pour. We want about 300 ml of this, so twice as much water. And why does it have to be ice cold? Because in a minute we're going to put it into a hot fryer. And it's the contrast between ice cold batter and hot oil that makes it uber crispy. As soon as that is smooth, we can add in desiccated coconut. So we've got coconut rum in the pineapple, but now desiccated coconut into the fritter mix. Okay. More flavour. More flavour, a bit of texture. It's absolutely great. That's fine. Don't whip too much of that air out nope. there because we want that fizziness still in there. Cool. Next up, get rid of excess rum. Put it into our batter. It's nice and thick, so it'll coat it fully, and that can go into our oil. Love it. And does the rum cook out? It will do when a little bit, it. but you still get that rummy flavour. Okay, but it is completely optional as well, so if you don't want alcohol you for any reason. And just use the pineapple straight from the tin. Cool. With three in there frying, we need to leave them about three or four minutes. We can flip them over halfway through because they will tend to float in the oil. What are you doing? <laughs> and then we can show you how crisp they are. So there we go, our beautiful fritters. I'm going to get these out and drain them of excess oil. In the meantime, you're yes. going to whip up some cream to serve with them, and then I can get three more in. Cool. When you say whip up some cream, I'm guessing we've got a nice machine that can do this for us. Yes. His name's Jim. I'm a machine. So mm -hmm. double cream until we've got nice soft peaks. Yep. What I really think you could do with pineapple fritters is mix them up with some onion rings. Just to confuse people. Do you not think? I think that would be cruel. But yes, you could. Yeah. There we go. Last couple. And now all that's left to do is plate it up. So you've got the cream. Mm. So plenty of these beautiful, crispy Ooh, yeah. fritters. Could we not put in some coconut rum into the cream as well? We've done that before. You can do, but I think there should be enough on the, on the pineapple. Okay. But it's not necessary. But you can, of course. It's better my way. Nice dollop of cream, oh, which will begin yes. to ooze. Drizzle of honey. Wow. That is a dessert. Beautiful. And plenty to share around. The finishing touch is a sprig of mint. So there we go. Our beautiful pineapple fritters with a hint of rum, sorted. Nice and crispy. That's what we like. I've never had them with coconut flavouring before. Good, isn't it? Mm. In the batter and a little bit of rum around the pineapple. Mm -mm. It's still hot and cold, I like. Yeah. I reckon I could eat all of these if I tried. I think that's probably not too <laughs> difficult to do. There are tons more recipes on the website, especially sweet ones, so go check them out at sortedfood.com.